Now let's see some additional features on the bar chart. So I'll click here to add it. We'll see that in this data section, we have the option to add another dimension. Okay, so let's say that we want to break down these mumps with another detail. So we can add here, for example, the state. So if I add the state, each one of these mumps will be broken down, will be detailed by state. And the state legend is here. But of course, it's very difficult to see all of that. Notice that we have here this mini chart, but we can see that in a stacked format. So here in this bar chart, let's go to the appearance. When we have two dimensions, we can see that in a grouped way or in stacked format. So clicking here, this will bring back the bars, but each one of these colors represents a state. So we can see that the California state has much more records than the rest. The second one here is Florida. And we also have the option to sort it here. So right now we are looking with the count of ID. We can sort according to the state. And inside these bars, if I add the expression here, so let's count the ID again, see that it will change inside each one of these bars, okay? Now let's go to the appearance section. And here in the colors, Let's color these bars according to the state, which is already here. Let's make it persistent with 100 colors. Now, if we go to this chart, we can do the same and the colors will be the same as well. So let's click here, color everything by dimension, click on persistent colors, 100, and these states will have the same colors. So if I select here the top three states and apply the selection, we can now defer them much easier. As we can see, Texas is much lower here. I can apply the selection again. So if we want to see only Texas, let's click here and we'll see how it evolved. And now going back, same thing. So if we do the same chart with cities, the same thing will happen. So I will click here with the right button, co copy this chart and paste again. And now instead of state, I will change here in the data. I will delete this and put CD. Now let's go here in the appearance part and let's color them by state. And now, not only we know the city, but we also know the state when we hover the mouse on the bar. So Los Angeles, for example, located in California. So we have here the tooltip, but there's a very tricky point here. Some of these bars, they are gray. Miami, for example, should be in Florida, so the color should be green. But when we filter Miami, now we are looking only to this city. We can see that we have Miami also in Arizona and in this state that I don't know the name, sorry. But when we have more than one option, the color will not appear. So we'll have a gray, this light gray here unless we break it down. So for example, if I click here in Florida, we'll only see the cities from Florida and the Miami cities that are not located in Florida are not here. So what we can do in this case, we can go back here. Let's add another expression. Instead of bringing the city here, only the this field, we can concatenate it right here in the field option using an expression with the state, okay? So I will open the editor, click in here, and we will concatenate the city with the state like this, just like Excel, you know? So instead of only the city name, we'll also have the state. We can click apply. If we had this column in the data set, there would be no problem. And now each one of these cities are allocated according to their states. We can label it with city again. Let me click done editing. And it's better to visualize each one of these colors with their states, right? So we can see that the four, fifth, and this city here, they're from Texas. We can select the top 10. And on the top, this filter here will show the expression the way we have in the field. Let me click here. 
Another way to achieve a very similar effect would be editing this, going back to the previous mode. So let's leave it with the city field like that. And now we can add the state column like this. This is now divided by city and state, but let's make this chart stack it just like this one. So going back to the presentation, make it stacked. And we need to sort the city field. And now we can't really put the count of IDs on top. We need to add an expression to the city field. So let's click here, sort by expression, and count again the IDs in the descending order. Now we have the cities. And if we look very close here in, in Miami, we can also see the other states. So notice that we have 39 here and one more, but they are so small that we, we can't really see the other colors. Now take a look at the city, Richmond. If I click here, there's a relevant number of accidents in California, in Richmond, California, but there's a much bigger part in this other state. And this is happening because we have the same name of cities in different states. Okay, this would not happen if we had the field concatenated with city and state.